Ladies and gentlemen, bout number two on the card, Sam Rogers versus Too Deadly, Sean Thomas. professional contest and he's fought some quality in his first two hasn't got a win to his name yet but taking on Luke Jackson and Jackson Woods and coming up short on both occasions Barry exactly mate well he's fought two tough opponents in the start of his professional career Sean Thomas was a decorated amateur um, you know he's at he had his first two professional fights were losses against very experienced opponents his third fight was a good win at this venue and uh, it'll be interesting to see how Sean and Sam Rogers uh, shave up with each other. Of course, Sean Thomas trained by the very highly credentialed Steve Stenborg. Uh, not too far from here at the uh, Pavilion, just down the road in North Melbourne. 64 Sutton Street, North Melbourne, just around the corner from the Melbourne Pavilion. And Steve Stenborg, one of the best trainers in the country. Um, great conditioner, really, really loves, loves these boys, loves the game. And uh, I'm proud to call him a mate. He's a fascinating story, Sean Thomas, as we watch him come to centre ring. As Barry just told you, after a decorated amateur career, those first two professional contests and then a seven and a half year break before he turned to the ring uh, last year, just before his 34th birthday. On your last card here, Baz, and uh, he, he got the decision over Colin Norris with a four round points victory. He certainly did, and it was a very Good entertaining ladies and fight. Gentlemen, and welcome to bout number two of the evening. This fight is brought to you by the Sky. Highways Hotel, six by three minute rounds in the super featherweight division. Your referee in charge of this contest, Mr. Ignatius Missalides. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Nick Lunn out of the Lightning Fight Centers with an official weight of 58.4 kilograms, wearing black shorts with red and white. Two fights hailing from Lilydale, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Rogers. And across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Steve Stenborg out of North Melbourne Boxing Club with an official weight of 59 kilograms even. Wearing black shorts with the Aboriginal flag emblazoned across the front. Three fights for one wins, representing North Melbourne. Too deadly, Sean Thomas. Six by three minute rounds at the super featherweight limit. The limit that, of course, my co-commentator Barry Michael won the world IBF title back in 1985. At this weight. At this weight. It's been a long time ago. <laughs> and then, of course, our proud sponsor of this second bout tonight, the magnificent Skyways Hotel. And we think the opening bout of the night, Bolwell Kelson Advisory for proudly supporting that. So both fighters wearing black trunks with red band and piping, but it's fair to say that Sam Rogers has got a lot more, well, maybe not a lot more body ink than um, than Sean Thomas, but... Uh, Pretty even. It is. Sean <laughs> Thomas, the uh, the shorter squatter man. Sean, a very nice boxer. He's, um, you know, not a tall man. He's, he's very nuggety, but he beautiful combinations. Lovely, lovely stiff left jab there from Sean it's Thomas. Crisp jab, wasn't it? Both boys feeling it out, but the left jab's landing nicely for Sean Thomas at this stage of round one. And fast hands, Sean Thomas, for a very, very fast hands. Round of 34. Yeah, when he when he gets going, he really puts the combos together well. Double jab on that occasion, snapping the head back of Sam Rogers. Sam Rogers looking a little stiff at this stage, Bruce. You know, a little st stiff of the, the upper body, not as fluent as uh, as Sean Thomas. 
the more season of the two fighters. Beautiful jab by Sean Thomas. Found a home for that jab immediately. I guess a lot of factors come in as well. I mean, compared to sparring in the gym, the young man knows he's fighting on live television. Big crowd here at the Melbourne Pavilion under the bright lights Friday night. It uh, could be a little overawing. Certainly, certainly, Bruce. Virtually a sold-out crowd here at the uh, Melbourne Pavilion. Over 50, about 54 corporate tables and, you know, uh, quite a, uh, a big general audience as well as well as our TV audience out there, of course, on Channel 31 and live into America. Well, Sean Thomas just tattooing that jab across the face of Sam Rogers at the moment and piling up the points in a very convincing opening round. As you know, Bruce, the left jab is what boxing's all about. For an orthodox boxer, left jab for an orthodox fighter, right jab for a southpaw, <coughs> it creates all your openings. Everything comes off the left jab. Thomas has found a home for it early. Rogers needs to first him maybe a little more lateral movement. He's starting to mark up already under the right eye. He, he seems, you know, too stiff. Very stiff right throughout the body. Even yes, the legs, yes. there's not a lot of elasticity in the in the pins. And he's stunned there because of uh, probably a lack of footwork. Went stumbling back from that short left from Sean Thomas. Sean Thomas or the winner of this fight will undoubtedly get a shot at the state super featherweight title probably in the next bout. The rules are you need to fight a six rounder before you can fight for an eight round state championship. Thomas's confidence would be sky high after this dominant opening three minutes. And there's the bell. Finish the first round. That is uh, easily a 10 9. And it could almost be a even though there wasn't a knockdown. I mean, he just absolutely dominated that round. The left jab dominated the round. Very satisfied, Steve Stenborg, after that first round from Sean Thomas. And Sam Rogers has got it all ahead of him. Certainly has, Bruce, yeah. A very, very convincing first round for Sean Thomas. Oh, nice left hook from Sean Thomas, I think. Oh, oh he's down. Over there. Nailed him. Two, Caught four, him flush three, on the right jaw. Four, after five, the first round, I think, six, Bru I think uh, Steve seven, Stenborg's told Sean eight, Thomas to come up, out and let him go. hands up. Wait. So Rogers down early in the second, and the mountain just started getting a little higher. He wore another crisp right in the body shot as they resumed hostilities, and it's all one-way traffic at the moment. Certainly one-way traffic. Oh, Sam Rogers tried a big overhand right, had a lot of power, but was ineffective. Sean Thomas throws a bomb of a right hand, slips off the shoulder of Sam Rogers. But uh, you just think it could possibly be a matter of time now. Down early in round two, Sam Ro Rogers, and dominated clearly in the first round, uh, Sean Thomas. Another solid right from Thomas. And again, behind the jab, Rogers misses with a wild right of his own. Fast hands from Sean Thomas. Beautiful left jab work, left hand work. Jab to the body, jab to the head, Sean Thomas. Looking for that opening for the overhand right or the left hook, which uh, scored that flash knockdown in the opening of this round. I think you'll see it happen again, Bruce. I'm with you, Baz. And still a lot of tension throughout the body of Sam Rogers. His knees look stiff and a lot of tension through the shoulders and the neck region. Nice body shots. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Bruce. Very stiff upper body. A couple of lovely clean sh body shots there from... Sean Torres, Thomas showing a, a really good repertoire of punches here. In comparison, Thomas looking really comfortable in his office. This is his workplace and he's very doing a comfortable. Lovely job of dismantling Sam Rogers at the moment, who's 
push back rather than rock back by a left hand on that occasion. More body work. Watch your head, watch your head's in close. Cam Rogers' game, trying some good, strong body dig, but Sean Thomas unaffected by him. Lovely, clean, crisp left jab again. All one-way traffic at the moment, Bruce. Scheduled for six. We're in the second half of the second stanza. And the end of the sixth will be looking like about a marathon distance away for Sam Rogers at the moment. Yes, undoubtedly. Can he, he build game. any sort of offence? He is game, no doubt about that. Ten seconds to go, round two. Rogers just a little more bounce in his legs now. And finishes the second round, which is clearly a 10-8, maybe even a 10-7 for Sean Thomas. Very, very clear lead to Sean Thomas. And we'll have a look at the knockdown. It was, a, it was just a little clipping, clubbing left hook. Didn't travel very far. Caught him right on the ear. Yes, another behind the ear knockdown. As we said, one-way traffic and Rogers warmed to the task probably in the last 20 or 30 seconds of the of the round, but he is already a mile behind on points. Certainly is. And he's uh, marked underneath one of those uh, his right eyes, Sam Rogers. Of course, we're building up to our main event tonight, Zach Dunn, to take on the Brazilian Rogerio Damasco, the WBC International Silver Super Middleweight Crown. Well, Zach Dunn, his first fight of 2016, relinquishing the IBO strap after uh, winning it in such convincing fashion against Max Bursak in the second half of last year. Definitely, Bruce. And, uh, you know, Zach Dunn looking at a shot at the WBC Super Metalweight World title later this year. Now Sam Rogers comes bouncing out of the blocks at the start of the third. Can he try and put Sean Thomas off his game or take him out of his rhythm? He certainly needs to do something different because he's... Uh, He's getting leather poisoning at the moment, that's for sure. Sean Thomas, very accomplished boxer, as you can see. Nice countering left hook there. Slips the right hand, counters with the left hook. Beautiful jab, poised and balanced, Sean. Whereas uh, Sam Rogers, very tense, very stiff. Very composed fighter, Thomas. He just looks like he belongs in... He's, he's certainly, look, he's been in, in, in a boxing ring the majority of his life. As you said, he had a seven, was it a seven-year break or? Seven-year break between seven. his second and third professional contest. That's a big break. Oh. Bolo right lead. That was interesting. And Rogers, as I said, game as Ned Kelly walking up. Has he got the firepower to put a dent in Sean Thomas? I'm not real sure if he has. Ripping away to the body now is Sean Thomas. Rogers trying to give as good as he got. Good body shot from Sean Thomas there. Rogers fires back. This is probably where the best where Rogers should be, I think. Stay on top. Not, not give Sean Thomas any distance at all because he's just too proficient a boxer. Needs to stay right on top of him. Barry, Michael and Bruce Lever with you on commentary here at the beautiful Melbourne Pavilion. First big fight night of 2016. <laughs> Certainly is the best venue in Melbourne for boxing. There's no doubt about that. Another capacity crowd. And they're watching another all-action bout. And credit to not just you, Baz, but your matchmakers, everyone that puts the, these shows together. Alfredo Casagna, who is my matchmaker, he is an unbelievable guy. He's a Cuban. He was, uh, you know, a big... A, a, a big mover and shaker in the Cuban national boxing, amateur boxing break, team. Break, break, and he he's lives lives out here with us now and uh, works full time on boxing for myself and uh, and, Zach, and Zach Dunn, basically. Rogers has worn another couple of big right hands to the left side of the face. He's missed with his own punches and his face is deteriorating by the second. Huge mouse appearing under his right eye. And his left eye too. He's really, his face is really marked up. Not yet at the halfway point of the bout. Scheduled for six. Last 10 seconds of the third round. And it's been a more even round. Rogers certainly as had brave a, as they come. He's had a better round this round. He, he needs to take the fight up the short Thomas. But you'd still have to say that it's a 10-9 round to Sean Thomas which would have him 
possibly four or five points in front. That was a lovely little left. Lovely neat hook. Good body shot there from Sean Thomas. Nice countering right hook to the side, the left side of uh, Sean Thomas's body. It actually looked as though it hurt Sean Thomas there. Oh, it was a slappy right. Yeah, just grazed the chin. Look at that left eye, very swollen above the left eye there, and a bit of it underneath as well. His eyes actually still look clear though, don't they? So yes, he's, yes. He's been down once early in the second. Very calm corner for Sean Thomas, Steve Stenborg, of course, a uh, huge amount of experience in the sweet science. As I said, one of the best trainers in the business, Sean, uh, Steve Stenborg. Nick London, in the other corner, also a very experienced trainer and former boxer and kickboxer. So the halfway mark, we turn for home, three in the books, three to go. Sean Thomas, the shorter of the two men, they're both wearing an identical kit, black trunks with the red band and piping, of course, uh, oh, that's a lovely left by Thomas. Thomas with the the band of his trunks being the Aboriginal flag. Oh, oh lovely short right, right hand. Right. Rogers was hurt by that, a tiny little short right hand right on the chin. Took the legs away, didn't he? Stumbled forward and the left snaps the head back now. I still think he's not quite clear. Yeah, Rogers still blinking heavily, trying to regain his equilibrium. He's not a balanced fighter, is he? He seems to... His footwork, he's probably heavy in the heels now from yeah. the sheer weight of punches that he's soaked up from the shorter Sean Thomas. You know, he's eat, eating a lot of leather from Sean Thomas. Can't be doing him a lot of good, that's for sure. Lovely double jab again, triple jab there from Sean Thomas. Nice left grip to the body as he moves away. Counters and moves away, Sean Thomas. You can see so much ring experience here. Sam Rogers, game as Ned Kelly. Nice right to the left kidney of Sean Thomas. But Thomas just brushes it off and lands with a crisp left hand. And again, look at that jab. Perfect left hand. Sam Rogers coming up, really letting him go. Copping more leather, walking forward into it. You have to pay credit to Sam Rogers and his fitness team because he is stripped in really good condition for the amount of punishment he's taken. Oh. And he's still marching forward. And he keeps soaking up the red leather. He's as game as Ned Kelly, but he's getting totally dominated, totally outclassed. Picked apart by Sean Thomas. Left the head, right to the body, chopping right over the top. Thomas moves away. Rogers walking up, throwing, trying to land that big bomb. That's the only way this this pattern of this fight's going to change, Bruce. Excellent point, Baz. That's why you're on the very special comments as Sean Thomas picks Sam Rogers apart. Upstairs and downstairs, as Barry Michael, the former IBF super featherweight champion of the world, has just told you. And Rogers trying to get a little bit of head movement going, but he's just been dissected throughout almost four rounds. It's scheduled for six. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought Sam Rogers would have been there after there, the boys. first Keep round working. or so. Second round is special, especially, but uh, fighting gamely. That's the way. Keep working. Keep being working. dominated by Sean Thomas. Both boys swapping vicious body punches here. Rogers trying, trying desperately to land a big one. Ten seconds to go. Oh, and a crisp left hook from Sean Thomas just before the bell. And a... Oh, no! canvas. That Three, was a huge four, shot. Five, he bounced straight back six, up though, Baz. His eyes seven, still appear to be pretty clear. Eight. And he'll probably Hands be up. safe by the bell here. That was a wonderful five. shot from Sean Thomas. Wow. And Nick Lundy's trainer has got the towel in his hand. I think he almost would, would have considered you know, throwing the towel in there. Up quick. You know that, don't you? They should stay down. We'll have a look at the replay. Sean Thomas only sitting down in his corner now. That was a wonderful straight right uh, for another dominant round. We can't say enough for the courage of Sam Rogers. Copying too much punishment. There it is. Overhand right just before the bell. Straight down the pipe. Right on the point of the chin. Oh, there it is. Yeah, clean chin shot. Um, Nick Lund must be looking very seriously at stopping this fight. The trainer in the corner with Sam Rogers. 
The second bout tonight brought to us by our great friends at the Skyways Hotel. Yeah, if Skyways have done a fantastic job of accommodating all the boxes from uh, Hungary, uh, Brazil, Queensland, the Philippines. They've done a fantastic job of supporting the whole show. And Sean Thomas will be looking for a stoppage very early in this fifth, you'd imagine. And referee Ignatius Missalade is taking a very close look at Sam Rogers, who's visited the canvas twice, and he's been dominated for the rest of the bout so far. Early exchanges of the fifth, and he wears another big right hand. Yeah, I think if you, I think Ignatius, if there's one more knockdown, I, I think that Ignatius would probably stop it. Thomas now going back downstairs, oh. and the body shot dropped him. A beautiful left rip. It was about the fourth at the end of the uh, combination. Vicious Six, left rip. Seven, eight. If you go down one more time, I'm stopping the fight. You understand? Yep. Well, you heard that up. from Ignatius Missilatus. He's seen three knockdowns. A yeah. fourth will be the end of it. And Sam Rogers nodded in a grance and said, yep. And I don't think he'd be complaining if this was stopped. He's continuing to battle on bravely, but the end is nigh, Barry. Yes, undoubtedly. Um, good refereeing by Ignatius Missalides, one of our more experienced referees, taking uh, care of the boxes. That left ripper, Sean Thomas, is if he throws that again, lands clean. There it is. It's nearly cut him in half. He's hurt. Two great There body it is shots. again, that right one left. The body shots are hurting Sam Rogers. Oh, vicious. And down Stopping he goes again. And yep. Ignatius Missalides waves it off immediately. And it's a fifth round stoppage to two deadly Sean Thomas. And it was basically a clinic. Great stoppage. Great, great, look, great refereeing by Ignatius Missalides and a boxing clinic from Sean Thomas. His second straight victory. Two wins, two losses now for the 34-year-old Sean Thomas. Pocket dynamo. And on that performance, there wouldn't be too many in the super featherweight division around that mark, around the uh, the high 50 kilo mark to uh, want to step into a ring with a man whose confidence is growing by the second. Undoubtedly. Look at that beautiful shot. And in the end, Ignatius Missalatus with the fourth knockdown. It's soon enough. And Game as Ned Kelly, Sam Rogers. But good refereeing there by Ignatius Missalides. Let's go up to our ring announcer, John Demacoli, with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 34 seconds into the fifth round, your referee Ignatius Missalides put a stop to this contest. Declaring your winner via TKO, too deadly, Sean Thomas. And he squares the ledger at two and two. As we said earlier, two pro fights back in 2008. And he unfortunately lost both, but he's returned to the ring late last year. The decision, Colin Norris, in late October, and he stopped Sam Rogers tonight with a devastating fifth round TKO. Certainly, Bruce, and uh, you know, Sean, is, when, when he first came to the gym with Steve Sandborg, and I watched him punch the bag, I knew he had a lot of ability, but he was, you know, fairly, fairly overweight. He's got himself Can in I great condition in the last eight and months. Michelle lands down to the centre of the ring, please. He's done a really good job, and now he's right on top of his game, and he's right up there in the super featherweights in Australia. Testing. 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 